This is Radio Nepal. I'm Goshal Kimide with the news. The headlines first. High-level political mechanism agrees to make governments work more effective. Finance Minister Bishnu Prasad Paudil presents mid-term evaluation report of current fiscal year in Parliament. Budget size reduced by 14%. World Radio Day being marked today with a theme, Radio and Peace. And Turkey issues 113 arrest warrants in connection with the construction of buildings that collapsed in Monday's earthquake. Now the news in detail. The top leaders of the ruling coalition partners have discussed the matters such as making the works and activities of the government more effective and people-oriented. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation, Rajendra Lingden, said a meeting of the high-level political mechanism held at Balwatar yesterday reviewed making the government's works and activities more effective. Deputy Prime Minister Ling then added that the meeting also deliberated on bringing the Rashtri Swatantra Party back into the government. The government has reduced the size of the budget by 244 billion rupees while making a mid-term evaluation of the budget for fiscal year 2022-23. Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Bishnu Prasad Paudel informed the Parliament about the reduction in the current fiscal budget, unveiling the mid-term evaluation report of the current fiscal year. The budget base has been decreased by 14%. Finance Minister Paudel said indicators of the country's economy were, uh, were at risk due to negative impacts on the global economy and challenges stemming from the country's internal causes. The Election Commission presented its annual report to President Bidya Devi Pandari yesterday. Chief Election Commissioner Dinesh Kumar Thapalia presented the report to President amid a program at the office of the President in Sital Nivas. The government has tabled the fourth annual report of the Tharu Commission in the House of Representatives. Minister for Federal Affairs and General Administration Aman Lal Modi presented the fourth annual report of the Tharu Commission in the Parliament yesterday. The by-election for the House of Representatives in Chitwan constituency number no. 2 has been scheduled to be held on coming 23rd of April. The meeting of the Election Commission yesterday made a decision towards that end. The by-election is being held in Chitwan constituency No. 2 after the Supreme Court annulled Rabi Lamichani's post as lawmaker on citizenship case. Prime Minister and CPN Maui's Centre Chairman Pushpakamal Dal Prachanda has said the party will be transformed massively after two months. Addressing the Central Bagmati Province Coordination Committee meeting of the party held at party headquarters Peristara yesterday, Chairman Dahal pointed out the need for quality reform in the party. The Prime Minister also said his stress was for national unity and national consensus. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dal Prachanda has taken forward the matter of developing the under-construction Geta Medical College at Geta in Kailali District as the first national health science university in the country. During a meeting with stakeholders in Balwatar yesterday, the Prime Minister said the government would decide to develop the medical college as the first Sahid Dasrat Chand National University. The 12th World Radio Day is being celebrated across the world, including Nepal today. World Radio Day is marked on 13th of February every year. This year's theme for World Radio Day is Radio and Peace. All over the world, independent radio is considered an important and cost-effective communication medium for conflict resolution and peace building. In 2011, UNESCO announced that the 13th of February would be celebrated as World Radio Day in honor of all radio stations, radio workers and listeners. 
Meanwhile, the Minister for Communication and Information Technology, Rekha Sharma, has said that the government was responsible for the betterment of radio stations in the country. Talking to Radio Nepal on the occasion of World Radio Day, Minister Sharma asked for suggestions from all stakeholders to resolve the problems seen in the radio communication sector, stating that radio was a pivotal medium for the flow of information in Nepal. Minister Sharma also appreciated the role played by Radio Nepal as a leading media house in Nepal. Likewise, the executive director of Radio Nepal, Buddhi Badur Kesi, also expressed his best wishes on the occasion of World Radio Day. He said Radio Nepal had remained an important medium for ensuring democracy, prosperity and citizens' access to information, education and health. The Foreign Secretary of India, Bine Mohan Quatra, is arriving today on a two-day visit to Nepal at a friendly invitation of the Foreign Secretary of Nepal, Bharat Raj Paudel. The visit is a continuation of the exchange of regular visits between the two countries, according to the Foreign Ministry of Nepal. A meeting of the Nepal-India Energy Secretary Level Joint Steering Committee is scheduled to take place in India on coming February 17 and 18. Spokesperson at the Ministry of Energy, Water Resources and Irrigation, Madhu Prasad Petwal, informed Energy Cooperation, Trans Country Power Trade and Infrastructure Development for cross-border transmission lines were prominent agendas of the meeting. The government has decided to give a public holiday today on the occasion of People's War Day. A meeting of the Council of Ministers held at the Office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers yesterday took the decision to grant a public holiday today by recognizing the contributions made by the People's War in Nepal's political transformation. The ambassadors of Egypt and Norway paid separate courtesy calls on Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dal Prachanda yesterday. According to Prime Minister Secretariat, Ambassador of Egypt to Nepal, Noha Elgibeli, and Norway's Ambassador to Nepal, Torum Drumdel, paid separate courtesy calls on the Prime Minister at his office in Singadarbar. On the occasion, matters of bilateral and mutual cooperation and exchange of development aid were discussed. Meanwhile, Ambassador of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea to Nepal, Jo Young-man and Norwegian Ambassador to Nepal, Torun Drumdel paid separate courtesy calls on Foreign Affairs Minister Bimala Rai Paudil yesterday. According to the Foreign Affairs Ministry, the Foreign Affairs Minister and the Ambassadors discussed matters of mutual interest during the courtesy meetings. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin, now an international update. Officials in Turkey say 113 arrest warrants have been issued in connection with the construction of buildings that collapsed in Monday's earthquake. According to BBC, Turkish police have already taken at least 12 people into custody, including building contractors. Meanwhile, unrest in southern Turkey has disrupted rescue efforts in some places. The number of people confirmed to have died in Turkey and Syria has risen to more than 33,000. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the Meteorological Forecasting Division, the weather will be partly to generally cloudy in the hilly regions of province number one and mainly fair in the rest of the country. There are also chances of light snowfall at one or two places of the high hilly and mountainous region of province number one. Kathmandu's weather report for the past 24 hours, the maximum temperature was recorded at 21.4 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature was recorded at 5.8 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. But before wrapping up, the headlines once again. High-level political mechanism agrees to make governments work more effective. Finance Minister Vishnu Prasad Paudel presents mid-term evaluation report of current fiscal year in Parliament, budget size reduced by 14%. World Radio Day being marked today with the theme, Radio and Peace. And Turkey issues 113 arrest warrants in connection with the construction of buildings that collapsed in Monday's earthquake. 
Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at two in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.